welcome. So do you notice anything different behind me? Does it look... Something's different here. I just... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but... Ah, okay, I'll definitely give you a tour. Great, the bed is coming. Only for it to get stuck. We have made it onto week six of our epic Nairobi apartment decor. Let's dive right into it and catch up on the updates. First things first, we got our hands on a round, sleek coffee table. It was custom made. But I must admit that we did get it a tad too big, but you know, big is always better. So we're taking it as is and the coffee table was going for, I think it was about 8,500. Yeah, I think it was about 8,500, but I think it looks really good and we got it from Gong Road. Now let's talk about the bedside tables. Initially they had some stability issues with the legs being too thin but after we talked to the carpenter he was able to fix that up and now the bedside tables look perfect. And the initial design for the bedside tables was just to have something that's sort of afro minimalism of sorts like something just looks like you know a stool that you would have perhaps you know in the rural area but then just to have like a bit of a modern twist to it. So the cost for the bedside tables was 4,000 shillings each and I think I'm considering making two more bedside tables for the other bedroom or maybe even adding a bit of the same design of the bedside tables to the living room space but let me know what you think. So moving on to the living room area, we had our hearts set on getting some rattan chairs but in order to save some you know some little money money because of this economy we decided to go for some Hermes dupes and they were going for I think it was 10,000 shillings on Gigi and something to note when ordering the chairs is that just make sure they do the assembly for you because we ordered six chairs and I think from the six chairs only four of them could properly stand so but fortunately the seller was really nice and they exchanged the other two chairs for us. The curtains are up, the curtains up, but oh boy, they're completely creased. They're, I think they stayed folded for so long that they just got creased. So I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time just trying to steam out the eye, just steaming them or I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think they can remain as they are because they look very like crumbly and wrinkly. Okay, moving over to the kitchen, it's feeling a little lackluster. I don't know what it is. I think it's the gray brownish color that's on the walls and the cupboards, but we definitely can change that, not yet, cost wise. Um, we tried to put in a few black accent pieces, like you know, black microwave, black toaster, to try and you know bring in some contrast, but I still feel like it looks very blah. I don't know what to add to it to just you know bring it back to life um one thought was maybe changing the sink like the tab and everything to black but i don't know how well that's gonna go and also considering the apartment needs to start making money perhaps that's an idea for later on but let me know what pieces i could add to the kitchen just to you know zhuzh it up a little bit to bring it to life now to my favorite part we went plant shopping so i discovered this new store called planty and it's on james kishuru road and they have amazing plant pots that you know you can definitely put in the space and not something that you have to cover up with a basket because I find that with most pots you definitely have to cover them up. Um, I think terracotta pots are really beautiful but I always find that after a while terracotta pots start to develop, develop like a white like a white water stain on the pot itself and I feel like that doesn't look nice long term so I think definitely getting a pot that could be plastic or maybe a pot that's made of concrete has a better finish to it long time or if you do have a terracotta pot you definitely after some time have to cover it up with a basket but i got a really really nice got really nice pots from planty on james kishu road and the plants that they have in their store oh it, it looks like you're in the garden of eden or something those plants are just too perfect i was like is this real it's definitely real and they're so beautiful and i think their price points are also really affordable as well So 
so the plant pots that we got were going for 850 shillings each and they were able to house these really cool trees that I got on James Kishiri Road opposite family dentistry. There's a few um, vendors who are just selling plants on the streets and I think their plants are really beautiful as well and they can do the potting for you. I opted to get plants from there because I was I was being cheap, I'm gonna be honest, I was being cheap and I also wanted to get um, certain trees that I didn't find specifically in, a, in any plant shop so I wanted to get specific trees and I thought okay if this plant can survive outside hopefully it can survive inside but that's not always the case usually when you bring a plant from the outside and you bring it into your home they're always like ugh No I'm fancy I want I, I can't even drink tap water but uh, yeah so but one thing to make sure when choosing plants is to find plants that are easy to take care of so snake plants got lots of snake plants Ferns, I think ferns are also really easy to, to take care of and they grow really, really well and they just look lush and green and beautiful. So do you remember when we were trying to build a kitchen and we had to get some marble slabs? And also marble slabs are not cheap. I think one marble slab um, that was I think about going for, is it two, two feet? Yeah, two feet by three feet was going for about 6,000 shillings, but we didn't even need that whole bit. We just needed like a strip, but you can't just buy like the tiny bit. You have to buy the whole thing. But anyway, so we have all of this leftover marble remaining, and I really don't know what to do with it. So if you have any ideas for what we can do with the marble, please let me know. I feel like side tables would look really cool, but I also don't know where I would go to get it cut and curved. I think like if it was like a cool half, like half semicircle, a slab that would be cool and then the leg could also be a slab I don't know I, I don't know just let me know what to do with the slab so I need your help again with where to put the mirror so there's either two options I want to get a really large mirror that we could either put in a landscape position right above the dining area or we could put one in a portrait position quite close to the kitchen I don't know what works best I don't know what's gonna make the room look bigger I mean the thing about the area um, above the dining area is that it's not going to be so functional because it's just going to be something that makes the room look bigger but it's not you're not going to be able to see yourself fully and I think having a mirror where you can see yourself fully is super important I think just in general you know who, who doesn't want to see themselves fully but I also managed to get really beautiful mirrors from a store called Little More and they were selling these 60 centimeter round mirrors going for 2,700 shillings so I also need to figure out where to put these mirrors I've got a few ideas Maybe we could put one um, close to the door on the exit and maybe you can have one in one of the bedrooms but I'm also still not 100% sure so let me know where would you put the mirrors. So we also have this blank space that's close to the dining area. I don't know what to put in this area. It looks great just as is but I feel like it's missing something. It definitely needs something but I don't know what it is. So let me know what to put in this. This is, this is I'm, I'm passing the, is it called a baton? I'm passing the baton over to you. Let me know what to do. We also finally put up a TV and we also got a stand for it. The stand for the TV cost 500 shillings on Jamia, which is amazing. I It looks sturdy. It looks like it can hold up. It, it, it looks good. I think I need to go back to China Square. Do you remember when I was so excited at the beginning about all the pots and the bed sheets that we got that were like super bright colored and like blue, I mean turquoise and like what is this rust orange or vermilion you know the super bright colors i think because the walls are already super bright it's it's just gonna have too much of a contrast so we're gonna definitely have to change the sheets i think a beige color or maybe white would be something that's more calming and you know just have like peace and serenity when you enter the room because you know you want the bedroom especially to be a place where you want to sleep and you feel invited to sleep and also the colors that your eyes see before you go to bed should be something that makes you want to sleep. So right now it's night time but we're still thinking uh, we should put up some of the baskets so we're just trying to figure out on the carpet on the floor <laughs> how we're gonna do that so we're just trying to figure that out and you know get this get this get this started and I went over to little more and got a few things which I'm so excited for this brush especially I thought it would be perfect because it's so thin for like cleaning the window areas like just like like a clean good good spot 
good spot. Yeah, and all the other exciting things that we've got. And also, you have to let me know where we're gonna put the mirrors. And in the bedroom, it's nighttime, so I wanna come back and like refilm the um, decor pieces. But I'm just gonna put up some pieces just just to get the feel of it. So the baskets are up. Every video, I'm just holding up the baskets. Where should I put these? How should I arrange these? Yesterday, we finally took the time and we put up the baskets. I think they look amazing. I feel like the baskets on the wall just bring the whole apartment together and it's giving it that very Instagram slash Pinterest -y feel. I think it looks good. That really ties into the whole um, like Afro maximalist, but then you know, there's still pieces in the living room that are super minimal as well. So I just love the general look of it so far. And so if you want to figure out where to get the baskets, you can watch my previous video. I've shown the whole process of getting the baskets and also the different prices for the baskets. So we also placed some baskets in the bedroom. While we were putting up the baskets, we could not decide where to put the final basket or if this is the basket that we should put up. So you know, should we put the basket down here or should we put it up here? Okay, so <laughs> we had two conflicting opinions. Down here. Here. I feel like, uh, I don't know, okay, and also which basket is this better than this one? Let me know! And for the other bedroom, I think because the bed frame is dark, it's a dark color, we'd have to put something white on the walls, maybe just something white to sort of give it that contrast and just to brighten up the room just a tiny little bit. So perhaps I could also try making those, what are they called? It's like fabric and made with plaster or it's just like fabric laid on a canvas. I could try making one of those. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. I've never made one before, but we try things here. Okay, get your pen and paper, this is important. If you have a room or a place that's going to host various different people or multiple people, it is very important. And I repeat, very important. Forget everything else in the room. You need to get yourself one of these uh, mattress protectors. So this we got from Jamia and they were selling these for about 2,800 shillings each. And I think especially if you've spent a lot on the mattress to make sure that, you know, the mattress is comfortable, you want to protect the mattress. So make sure to get yourself a mattress protector. And the good thing about these is that they can be washed and, you know, they're, oh, this says anti-mite. It says breathable, anti mite waterproof, and antibacterial. So, yeah, get yourself one of these. I'll definitely put the link for um, the store where we got these mattress protectors, and I think I'll also share the link for where we got the Hermes chairs as well. So, yesterday I went to this mall called Business Bay Mall in East Lee, and ooh, do they have some treasures! So, I went to this store called Little More, and they had all of these very cute pieces which you could use for home decor like the mirrors that I mentioned er earlier and the mirrors were going for 2,700 shillings for a 60 centimeter mirror and they had like a really beautiful black outline which I feel like just had like a very nice minimal feel to it and they also had these amazing tiny egg holders that were going for just 30 shillings and I was like oh, I don't even like to eat boiled eggs that much but these looked really cute so I had to get those um, other things I got, I got these amazing brushes which I think will be so great for cleaning. There's this one brush that's like super fluffy and I think for cleaning it'll just be perfect because finally, I feel like looking at that brush I feel like finally we can get the dust off the walls as well. Like all of that dust from the marble, get all of that off. In the quest for unique decor that's easy and cheap, I got this idea on Pinterest and I have to show you. It's so quick, 5 minute crafts is definitely going to copy this. Let me get my pen, I don't even need scissors, I'm just going to get, I do need scissors, I'm just going to get the tools, get, give me a second. Done. I told you that would be a second. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take one of these circle things that's meant for embroidery. I don't know what it's called specifically. And then we're also gonna get our fabric. So this is the, the fastest, this is the most beautiful decor you can make in the shortest amount of time. And if anybody tries to tell you otherwise, they're lying. 
So I already made two of those yesterday, so we're just gonna make one more. So start by opening this up. Open this up. Get that. Now you have two circles. You just take your fabric. Put it on the back. Put the pattern. Like just choose a section where you think you really like the pattern. Maybe a little bit closer to here, so we can still use that corner over there. Just put that there. That looks like a good pattern. And then put the circle behind, right over there. And then just put the. I think this is easier in a table, but just put it through. Stretching, you just pull from the back side just to make sure it fits properly. So for this, you need you could use a screw to tighten this area here, and then just tighten it. Just while tightening it, I just keep make sure to keep pulling it, just so I have a really nice, nice look. After you've already, you know, stretched the circle and tightened the screw, then you have all of this loose fabric which you can just cut. It's better to cut this with a blade, but you can also just use a pair of scissors and you just cut around. But I just want to quickly show you what it looks like after you've cut it. This is what we're going to have and I think it looks really cool and it looks really beautiful and this is better than anything you'll find on 5 Minute Crafts. No, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, this is just essentially what it looked like. And I think you could definitely choose a different fabric, different color. And I think this, if this was a darker wall, would look really nice. If also, or if this was a darker fabric. And you can do this with any sort of fabric you feel or like. And I would also recommend doing this with a fabric that is perhaps sentimental to you. Maybe if you have like a piece of clothing or a blanket that, you know, means something to you. You can definitely just stretch it out and put it onto one of these embroidery circles and... There you have it. Something that is very important for the plant situation in the apartment is that the plants stay alive. So I tried to find plants that can, you know, be forgotten about but still look beautiful. So snake plants, for example, I think snake plants are a great example, especially if you're trying to be a plant parent and you don't know how to take care of plants. Get yourself a snake plant, it'll make you feel better about yourself. You can give it too much water, it'll still grow. You can give it very little water, it'll still grow. You can put it in a dark corner, it'll still grow. You can put it in a bright corner it's still gonna grow up. So get yourself a snake plant. It's just something so beautiful, so easy, and it also acts as a really nice um, privacy fence as well. So I'm thinking perhaps for the balcony, we could put in a few snake plants here and there just to give some privacy. Bamboo would have also been a great option, but the problem with bamboo is that you need to water it every single day or it's just gonna... Okay, the shiny doors. I don't know what to do. These doors look like... You know, it is. It feels like if you open the, the bathroom door, there's gonna be somebody in there just reading your palm. Nothing against palm readers, but you know, you don't want to have that. You don't want to have a palm reader in your bathroom, right? Right? It's too much. It's human exploitation. So yeah, we definitely need to figure out what to do with these shiny doors because they're all over the place. I tried to put um, opaque. Um, window stickers onto the glass bit but that didn't help you could still see all the shiny stuff and the lines and everything so I don't know and I also tried to buy a sticker that was white and matte to try and put it on the door but it still had that sticker like feeling I don't know if it's because I'm not a professional sticker professional sticker professional wrapper yo <laughs> professional car wrapper Am I already? Oh no, just yeah, I'm not a professional rapper, so it just didn't come out great. So if you have any ideas for what we can do with a door that is cost effective, that does not include buying a new door, please let me know. I think the main thing that we want to have in this apartment is just dopamine. You know, you want to get into different rooms and just feel joy, but not have it too busy that your mind is like, oh, I'm confused, but just like colors that bring joy and colors that spark joy and also pieces, different pieces, everything on the wall that also spark interest as well. It's like, oh, these baskets, where are they from? These different art pieces. And I also definitely think I might have to go over to the Maasai market to get a few pieces just to bring a little bit of Nairobi into the apartment. 
And if anyone knows where I can get a beautiful map of Nairobi, please let me know. I think that would also be a great fit just to have in the apartment just to create the Nairobi vibes. And I think I'm also might have to look for an artist that can just that is selling paintings that has like a very Nairobi feel to it. I think that would be a great addition to the apartment. Ah, okay, the bed. And to be honest, I think this bed has had more issues than Vogue. Starting from, I think when we first, when we first said, okay, we're gonna have this bed made. The first thing, you know, they put the wrong color and then trying to get the carpenter to sand down the bed. And then the carpenter would be like, no, it's not possible. And then, you know, having to get a guy to speak to the carpenter. And then the carpenter is like, oh yeah, definitely. We can sand the bed. It's like, wait, why didn't you sand the bed when I said to sand the bed? Because I'd be, let's not get into that. But anyway, so, and then getting a different carpenter to do it because the carpenter that was doing it just, yeah, yeah, it was so complicated. It was just complicated, you know, this bed drama. And so getting the other carpenter to do it, so the other carpenter took the bed from the carpenter that failed to do it. And so he was going to fix it, and so he fixed up all the holes, patched up all the holes. And then when he finally, you know, finished the bed and brought it over, it was too big. It couldn't fit. It couldn't fit in the lift. It couldn't fit in the stairs. It's like, what's wrong with this bed? Okay, it couldn't fit anywhere. So he left it there because he had other places to go, right? And so I was... I think on another day because they usually clean the compound quite like vigorously and they pour water everywhere and the bed was like on the floor I was like this bed needs to be saved so I spoke to another carpenter that was in the building and I was like okay why don't we just try and take this bed apart and reassemble it inside the apartment and um because the building is still under construction somebody else just happened to pass by and like no 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 I'm gonna save you time I'm gonna save you time I'll have this bed in your apartment he said I'll have the bed in your apartment in two minutes and I was like two minutes what no way no way of course I thought he was exaggerating which he was because so what they did was because the bed couldn't fit in the lift they put the bed on top of the lift so then after they put the bed on top of the lift, you know, because of the box of the, the space of the box of the actual lift is too small, so they put it on top where there's a bigger, you know, bigger area. So they put the bed on top of the lift and I was like, great, the bed is coming. Only for it to get stuck inside that area for three and a half hours. They tried from different angles, they tried pushing it in, pushing it out, taking it up, taking it down, taking it around. There was at some point, I think, they initially started with just four people and at some point when it got to like the three hour mark there was ten different people trying and struggling to get this lift outside of to get to get the lift, to get the bed outside of the lift. And the problem is that because you know people live in the apartment, there's already people living in the apartment, people got really, really, really angry. What was it? And I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So can you imagine the lift was out of service for three and a half hours. I was just by the door, just like, oh no, what have I done? And so then finally at the end, I was like, okay, okay. You know, it refused to come out from this floor. What if, what if people go onto the floor above? Because then also, because the lift had been there for so long, the lift was stuck, so you couldn't move the lift up or down. So my suggestion was perhaps somebody could go, a few people could go on the floor above and then they could try and like lift it and pass it through the door and that actually finally worked. <laughs> but then that meant that the bed was stuck a floor above for a few days until the carpenter who made the bed then came, you know, cut the bed in half <laughs> and then, you know, could bring the pieces into the apartment. But that bed, oh. When getting a bed, make sure to measure the lift and also make sure actually when getting anything make sure you know what the measurements of the lift the get the lift measurements and get the measurements of the door as well because you need to make sure that everything that you bring into the apartment can fit through the door i think at some point somebody suggested like pulling it through the window but i was like we are plus 10 floors plus up above the ground this is this just it, it sounds dangerous no we're, we're not no no <laughs> but yes i'm so glad that the bed drama is finally over and oh, the bed functions it works so after finally getting the bed in it was very important to get a good mattress to put on the bed so we ordered a mattress from dr mattress and they were selling the six by six mattress for 37,000 Kenyan shillings and the 3x6 mattresses were going for 20,000 shillings each and I think because they're very comfortable mattresses and they're things that will last a really long time especially because we're going to put the mattress protectors 
this this is a definitely a good investment. The mattress sets are gonna be a good investment and you know they'll pay back because nobody wants to sleep on an uncomfortable bed. You wanna sleep in something and you're like Well no, that's a dog. Um but you wanna be like and just comfortable. Okay, so this wall behind me is completely blank, but then on this side we've got the basket. So I really don't know what we can put up on this wall right here. So we've got two options. So either this right here. So this I just made by stretching an old coffee sack onto Frame. So the other option that we have is to put up a mirror, but I feel because it's already something round there, something round here would be too much, but let me show you what it looks like. This is what it would look like with a mirror here. So let me know what you think is for the mirror. Or the coffee basket. This wall right here where I've put the slabs, I feel like a mirror would look really good there. Let me know what you think. And also, what do we do with these slabs? I think this was faster than five minute crafts. This was definitely a two minute job and I think it came out really excellent. And all we have to do is just hang it up. So as I was showing you yesterday, so I feel like it would look better on a darker wall. Something else we're not so sure about. Should this mirror go here? Would it look nice here? I feel like it's a cool design so I don't know if you can see it but should it go here today I'm channeling my inner Barbie and I feel like I can do anything all this pink it's giving me this Barbie is an interior designer and look at that look at that nicely done nicely done so that is a wrap on week six if you have any questions let me know in the comments below I will also leave in the comments uh, in the description box the details for um, you know the different services that we got you know for the chairs and you know just everything I'll leave everything in the comments uh, in the comment section below so you know check that out and yeah I think next week because we we'll definitely will be done I think next week might be like the final you know the final episode of furnishing an apartment because I think now the way it's looking we're almost done so next week will just be like a quick run through you know before and after and a few little pieces that we've added here and there but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe bye